12 years in the NFL. The former Notre Dame quarterback started three years for the Irish during the glory days for Notre Dame. Then a really stellar 12-year – I mean, 12 years in the NFL was a long time. Rick, it's Ross Tucker. I don't know how they got you on the horn so quick, but I'm very glad that they did. Thank you for the time here on the Dan Patrick Show. you got to help us solve this debate because we've been talking about it for now for about 20 minutes. Pretty funny. Good to talk to you, Ross. Uh, Tagliabu nailed it. So, just to put it all to rest. Okay, so King can, had it right. So, can you oh, yeah. pronounce your own last name for us? <laughs> Meyer. So, that, so okay, so Pauly has a problem with the R in the middle not being pronounced. Rick's Go ahead, wrong. Pauly. Rick's wrong. It's Myra. <laughs> I don't, Rick, oh. I don't know how you're brought up, buddy. <laughs> it's screwed up, I know, but it's, just, it's the fact is it's Meyer. Can Either ask, R is silent. Can I ask one question before you, Ross, take it back? When you were growing up at Notre Dame, the announcers, the people in, in the NFL, were you called Myra a lot? A lot. Did a you, ton, did, and especially on the East Coast. Did oh, you yeah. correct people? For a while, and then it just got redundant. So I, I, uh, I just gave up and just kind of chuckled at it. But uh, Tagliabue did his homework. He had it. Yeah, Paul, you're not a very good Notre Dame fan. And, in fact, I'm not impressed with any of the Danettes' football <laughs> knowledge. It's Rick Meyer. It's always been Rick Meyer. Meyer. I, I just and, and, Rick, by the way, when I got your autograph when I was 12 or 13 or whatever, you were very nice and kind with your time. I appreciated that. That's funny. That's that's great. Hey, there's a guy that tweeted us at Ross Tucker NFL, and he tweeted Paulie as well at Paul Pabst. He agreed with me as well. His name's Gary. He said I went to high school with Meyer and dropped many of his balls thrown to me. Sorry, Paulie Putty <laughs> Ross is correct. He said he's gonna see his dad Ken. I'll let him know you guys were talking about him. That's funny. Perfect. Where are you? Where are you living now, Rick? What are you doing? I'm in San Diego, uh, Southern California, but I have a wine business up in Northern California, so I'm back and forth quite a bit and um, staying busy, chasing three active sons around and all the stuff they do, so never a dull moment. Okay, so you live in San Diego, you have a vineyard in Northern California, and you have three boys, and you play 12, like, you're winning life right now. You know that, right? (laughs) Well, the funny thing is the winery is called Mirror. We didn't even mess with the Meyer thing. We avoided the whole pronunciation issue and just went with m-i-r-r-o-r and uh that's been a pretty smooth explanation so why is that not pronounced me or why don't you get rid of the r's there well it's it's here because there's two <laughs> vineyards that mirror each other across the valley but it's kind of <laughs> ironic that it gets right into the same thing with our name and a lot of people assume it's because of the pronunciation of our name but it's not what um going back to 93 did you go to the draft I did not, and it's funny. These guys this year it sounds like aren't going or haven't made the trip. But uh, Drew went, and I didn't. I just felt like staying home and being with my family and friends, and uh, it was not really an issue. It's, it's turned into such a spectacle that it's it's a it's a big deal that if they you know if they don't go, it seems like now. But yeah, I was quite comfortable just staying home and seeing how it played out. Would you have gone if you knew you were going to be? You knew pretty much then that. The Patriots were taking Bledsoe and the Seahawks were taking you. If you were going to be number one, would you have gone? We didn't know. No. I mean, Drew would tell you the same thing. We, we knew we were one and two. We just didn't know the order. And, and at least, you know, until right before it happened, we were waiting just to see and kind of preparing our brains for either, either way it went down. But uh, if, you, if you absolutely knew you were one, you, you probably ought to go. But otherwise, I felt like it was it was my decision and, I wanted to be home with my with my family. We're talking with Rick Meyer, the former <laughs> Notre Dame quarterback, former NFL quarterback. Evidently has a vineyard. Check out his wine, Mirror. Where is it up in Napa? We're at St. Helena, and um, the winery's in Oakville, so we're kind of in the center of the universe in Napa Valley, and um, there's a ton of great wines, obviously, but we're just – it's a competitive thing. It's been fun to learn, and – um, we're seven years into it already. It's crazy. But, uh, so Drew and I competed with football, but we also compete with wine. And- yeah, I knew, I knew Bledsoe had a vineyard. That's really funny. Hey, <laughs> you know what's weird about your draft? You knew what team you were playing for before you even got drafted. Like, did you guys celebrate when you heard Bledsoe went number one? Were you like, all right, I'm going to be a Seahawk. Let's celebrate. Cause you obviously knew as soon as Bledsoe went number one, you knew when and where you were going, right? 
Yeah, I guess there were no guarantees, but it was we didn't even hesitate and, and, and worry about it. I mean, they, everybody was very upfront, and, and clearly they they wanted quarterbacks. And uh, yeah, that part was pretty calm. I mean, I know a bunch of guys, you know, picked later, and you know, I see it every year the, the look on their faces when they're waiting and the unknown. But um, we had different kinds of pressure on us, you know, immediately the, the minute we walked, you know, into the new facility wherever you know we were going, but. Um, that day wasn't really stressful. wasn't too bad. Well, Rick, really appreciate the time. And, and most importantly, one last time, can you just confirm that I was right and they were wrong? You were right. The old linemen are usually right. So I'm with you, brother. That's why I called in. Yes. Thank you, Rick Meyer. I really appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. All right. There he is, Rick Meyer. I admire Rick Meyer.